here. <laughs> Church. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through baptism and confirmation, make her your faithful follower and a witness to your holy gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lead her by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Make the lives of her parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire her. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Keep her family always in your love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Now we have a short litany of the saints in which I invite you to respond. Pray for us as I invoke the name of various saints. We begin, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray, pray for, for us. Saints Peter and St. Paul, pray, pray for, for us. us. All holy men and women, pray, pray for, for us. us. Now this is called the prayer of exorcism. And um, now we're not going to have a Linda Blair moment here. <laughs> but thanks for letting be to God. Uh -huh. But it is a very important prayer. Um, exorcism is an important thing. It's a prayer of protection, of guarding us from evil. So that's what we, we begin. Uh, as Before we even baptize a person, we pray that God will watch over them and guard them and keep them safe. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan and the spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness, and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We now pray for this child, set her free from original sin, and make her a temple of your glory and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with her. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, Adelaide, we anoint you with the oil of salvation. In his name I claim you for Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give this new life, this child new life in abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water which you have made a rich symbol of grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed upon the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. You created man in your own image and likeness. Cleanse him now from sin in a new birth by water and by inno to innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I invite you, everyone, to please stand. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, she is to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her today is kept safe from the poison of sin, to grow always stronger in her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, I invite you now to renew your own vows of baptism, along with all the baptized here present, to reject sin, profess your faith in Jesus Christ. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. So I ask you and all here present, do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. 
Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So now I ask you again, Eric and Holly, is it your will that Adelaide should be baptized in the faith of the church, which we have all professed with you? Yes. Adelaide, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin and given you a new birth by water in the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you always live as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. Adelaide, you have become a new creation, and you have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. She is to walk always as a child of the light. May she keep the flame of faith alive in her heart. And when the Lord comes, may she go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Adelaide, the Lord Jesus made the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his praise to the glory of God the Father. Amen. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us now pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. She did have the wave down, didn't yeah. she? Yeah. What you do?